Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 3, Can Crush. Hey there, everyone. Just a quick friendly reminder from me that these videos are meant to be done with a grown up, with an adult. So, your parents, your aunts and uncles, family, friends, as long as there's someone there that is in charge and making sure that everything's going safely. Have fun! All right, for today's Can Crush experiment, you're going to need some ice water, an aluminum can, about two tablespoons of water, uh, some tongs, a pot, and a heat source. And so I'm going to use my uh, gas range here. Electric would work just as well. So what you want to do first is take your pot and place it on your stove top, and then take your two tablespoons of water and empty it inside the can. It does not need to be exactly two tablespoons, but a small amount of water. And place the can inside the pot and go ahead and turn on your heat source. I found that the pot distributes the heat very well to the can rather than just placing the can right on top of the burner. What we're going to be doing here is transferring the can to the ice water fairly quickly. So here I'm just getting things kind of out of the way and making sure that I'll be able to safely transfer it. It's going to be very hot uh, and that's where my tongs will come in. And so we're just starting to see it boil. Uh, you can hear the bubbles and you'll also start to see the water vapor or steam coming out of the top of the can. And now the fun part, you're going to take the can, flip it upside down, and place it in the ice water. Pause here. So the can crushed in on itself. It imploded. And this is because of the air pressure of the surrounding air. And I always tell my students, if you can imagine a cylinder above your head going all the way up to space, all the air that's above you right now is pushing down on you. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're indoors, wherever you are, uh, air is everywhere on the surface of Earth. And air has mass, and this creates pressure. So there's a, a force down on you. Now, you don't wake up in the morning and say, wow, the air feels really heavy today. Um, but it's something that your body's used to, and it's powerful. And you can see that here. It's really cool in both of these videos, there's a sound wave created by the crushing that shakes the cameras. And uh, we'll have to take a close look at that in the sound experiment later. And please don't forget to turn off your heat source. The motion science! Now, if we could actually see inside the can, we would see that there is air in there. And air is mostly made of nitrogen and oxygen gas, but there are a few other trace elements and molecules like argon and carbon dioxide. But what we do in this experiment is pour some water into the can and we heat it up. And what will happen is that eventually the liquid water inside uh, will start to boil. As the water changes from a liquid to a gas, the heat and additional molecules increase the pressure inside of the can. Matter flows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure, and thus the air molecules in the can are forced out and you are left with the can pretty much full of water vapor or steam. So we take this can full of high pressure, hot gaseous water and turn it upside down and place it in our ice water. The water vapor inside quickly condenses back into a liquid. This creates a significant drop in air pressure inside the can, which is overcome by the surrounding air pressure, causing the can to crush. Thanks so much again to my family for helping me out. Let me know how it goes.